presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to edit Bibles from inactive computers. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. One of the things that I've heard a lot of churches say that they need is the ability to edit Bible text, not, you know, add or remove stuff necessarily, but, you know, emphasize things or split up different passages or what have you uh, from a computer that is not a presentation computer. So a little background with ProPresenter, you can download a version of ProPresenter for free and it'll just put the watermark up from time to time. So basically it's great for editing, but not great for um, when you want to just present. So this would be perfect for having a version of ProPresenter for your pastor or a version for uh, the volunteer that makes the presentation from week to week or whoever. They can all get ProPresenter and not register it, so not take a license that costs money. Um, and so this is particularly helpful for churches that have one or two seats. They don't have the site license, which provides up to 20 seats. So the problem comes in in that if you wanted to edit Bible scripture without going to like Bible Gateway and copying and pasting stuff or opening a Bible and typing it in, using the Bibles in ProPresenter. And if you were getting uh, paid Bible versions, you know, KJV, no problem. But NASB or NIV or uh, The Message or you just fill in the blank with the uh, translation that you prefer to use. If you do that, until ProPresenter 7.4, there wasn't a good way to do that on an unregistered version. Well, with 7.4, they've added a little toggle that enables you to do just that. So let's head over to my computer and take a look. So this is a registered version of ProPresenter. Notice that the watermark doesn't come up from time to time. It's a registered version. But let's imagine that I only had one seat um, and I wanted to edit a paid Bible on another computer. So first off, what you're going to need, you're going to need the... Um, the key that you got when you purchased ProPresenter. So make sure you have that. And then you're going to go into ProPresenter and uh, registration. And then you'll put in your registration. Now, you could click unregister once it's registered, but I don't want you to do that. What I want you to do is you see where it says current seat state change that from active to inactive. I'm not going to do that because um, I don't want the thing to come up, but when you do that, then uh, you'll still have access to the Bibles your church has purchased, but you can't present from this machine. No big deal. You're using this machine just to create um, new presentations for ProPresenter anyway, so that's perfect. So this little feature right there, changing from active to inactive, enables you to do that. So remember that, real quick before I let you go, in Bibles, under Options, and then Bibles, you can uh, purchase Bibles or you can find free Bibles etc. The free ones didn't have this issue. It's the purchased ones. So, for example, if I wanted to purchase one of these, let's say I wanted to purchase the message, 
then that would be a version of the Bible that I would need to use this trick on. Not that it's really a trick, it's, it's a new feature. So that's what they've added in ProPresenter 7.4. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, which is free if you go to the link that I'm about to tell you. That's tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Go to that link. I'll need your name and email address so that I can make a login for you. And then you can uh, take that course for free and see what it's like on the inside of my Church Tech U uh, program. Again, it doesn't require a credit card just to see the interface and how everything works. So that's why I'm offering that. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.